In this video, we're going to talk about the software that you need to follow along in this series. Now, the first thing you'll need is Notepad++, and this is the main web page for Notepad++. I will provide this link in the description of this video, and all you have to do is hit this download link right here, and then it will take you to another page, and then you just download the current version. It's a very simple install. It should only take you a few seconds. There's really not a lot to installing Notepad++. But then we need to install a server. And what we're going to use, as I mentioned in the last video, is ZAMP. And this is the main page for ZAMP. I will provide a link for this as well. So you'll click on that link in the description of this video. And you'll come here, and you'll want to select this download link right here, ZAMP for Windows. Now in this series we'll be using ZAMP on Windows. Now you can use it for Linux or Apple if you choose to, but it will be up to you to configure the server. We're going to do this in Windows. So you'll download ZAMP for Windows and once you're done it will download an executable. You just double click that and all you really have to do is hit the next button a few times. It's a very simple install. Then once you do that you'll want to open up the ZAMP control panel. This may be in your start programs. I actually just put this shortcut on my desktop and you'll want to open that up. And here is where we can fire everything up that we need. Now we only need Apache at this point. So you're just going to hit start here and it will fire it up. And you can see it's accessing ports 80 and 443. Now if you do have a port conflict, then you'll have to resolve that. So for instance, if you have another program out there that's using a port that Apache needs, you'll have to stop that service. But you'll see down here, you'll get a message and it will tell you that it's running and it will be green, highlighted in green, to tell you that it's running. If it has a problem, it will give you all these nice little error messages. You can actually click on this logs button right here and it may give you some diagnostic messages. Now next to what you want to do is hit this explore button right here and this will take you to the default directory where XAMPP was installed. And the folder that we're going to be operating out of is htdocs. And so we're going to put all of our documents in here. Our PHP file actually will go in here. We'll do that in the next lecture. I just wanted to show you this. So that's where we're going to save it. And so this will actually be served out. And we'll actually be able to access it through a browser and execute our PHP code. And we'll actually get to that in the next video. So that's it. Go ahead and get those two applications installed and ready to go. And I'll see you in the next video where we will code up our very first PHP script.